and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hoppeds, in another Oktoberfest beer review. Uh, today, guys, we're going to be looking at a local beer. I don't review much from this brewery, uh, but uh, this is their Oktoberfest. This is from Nieve Boikus, and it's just called Nieve Boikus Oktoberfest. There it is. It's a Mapsen slash Oktoberfest beer as well. Uh, this one, however, compared to the Scholars, I think might be a little more authentic because it looks darker and it's unfiltered. It's hazy. It's even got sediment in the bottom of the bottle, the bottom of the bottle. So I think this will be more authentic to what the original Oktoberfest beers were because I don't think they were filtered back then. But uh, it says first Oktoberfest. Well, well it's just talked about the story and I told you about that it's basically just says that you should enjoy in in, in big bold glasses and, and stuff like that. And they use Bohemian Golding hops in here. And they actually also lager it for uh, like the traditional amount of time, which is pretty cool. And uh, 5.2% alcohol. Haven't reviewed a s well. I reviewed two beers from the Boy Boys. The Weigel Homle Back in Ale, I think it was called. Which whoops, sorry. <laughs> the one I reviewed when I moved into my apartment, which was a, a, a beer made for this local area. And I reviewed their Easter beer, which was actually pretty solid. I mean, it's not a brewery that makes mind-blowingly, amazingly great beers, but they do have a couple beers that are pretty good. Uh, yeah, this looks quite nice, actually. Uh, I, I really like the haze to it. I'm just going to leave the rest of the yeast in there. Um, well, it's not as dark in color. It's It, it kind of looks like an IPA, almost, and a really nice, frothy head on it. Um, a, a hazy, orangey color. I thought it'd be more dark, but uh, more coppery, but... That might be the yeast helping with that as well. Uh, nice, huge, two finger, frothy white head, or off white almost. Let's check out the aroma. This yeah, sweet malt, caramel. This has definitely got a whole lot more going on <laughs> than the, the Scaldus one. Not, again, not super complex. Again, it's a lager, but it does have more going on. And caramel, slightly toffee. It does have a little bit of that white grain aroma too as well. It definitely has a more hoppy aroma to it. There's the grass, there's the spice. But it does have a little bit of white cardboard maybe too, but it smells more fresh and vibrant compared to the other one. Hmm, definitely a little bit of a more enticing aroma to it. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. More flavor, more powerful in flavor, and more carbonation as well, because I like lager to be have a good kick of carbonation. Um, not amazing in any way either, you know, but it's got caramel, slight, well, maybe not toffee, but slightly kind of toffee-like flavor. Some grainy flavors as well, sweet maltiness. Actually, a good kick of sweetness. And a definitely grassy hop. Oh, I got a good kick of that grainy flavor there. Mm. But um, uh, also a good kick of, like, or a good kick, but a little bit of a grassy, hoppy flavor as well with the spicy hop notes. Um, yeah, again, a little more flavorsome than your average lager, but still not really amazing in any way. But I certainly prefer this to the Scotus one. I think this has a little bit more flavor. But this one also has a little bit of that kind of almost wet cardboard and or wet grain, spent grain flavor. Very grainy in general, both of them. Mm. Yeah, I definitely prefer this one. Um, I, I like the caramel tones and like the sweetness to it and stuff. So, so far this is the best Oktoberfest beer this year, but again, I've only been able to find two I haven't reviewed. So hopefully guys, I'll see more rating wise for the Neva Boy Hoops Oktoberfest. I'm gonna go 60. It's an above average beer. It's not anything great, nothing anything amazing. Again, this is something I'd check out with Oktoberfest type food or something like that, you know. Not, not anything I'd say, go on, get it now. But if you're looking for some Oktoberfest stuff and you're in Denmark, Northern Jutland, and you can't find anything except this and the Skullnest beer, go for this. So guys, uh, if you've had a chance to check out the Nieve Boykoks Oktoberfest, Definitely let me know what you think of it. Love to hear your thoughts. And also, again, what do you have to recommend for me for some like good Oktoberfest beers to review? If I can find them. As I said in the other review, we don't start a lot of the Oktoberfest type beers we don't start seeing until like middle slash end of October for some reason. So guys, let me know. 
As always, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. I'm gonna say prost. See you guys in another beer review.